it's another beautiful day in kashmir we are all set for our next adventure for now we are heading to srinagar which is going to be our base for the next few days it's a different kind of traffic than we are used to in bangalore but we will take this over that any day of the week hold my hand and lead me down this path that will take us to the place we met oh we can't forget no where you are we are going to stay at this very artistic airbnb for the next few days this is the living hall which is a mix of cultural and modern vibe The dining hall is right across the alleyway and we must say we were very lucky to have some of the most delicious home cooked food whenever we got the chance. Now the reason why we made this as the base is we could find good stays largely in Srinagar and nowhere else. Um so that's the reason. Um so the room here comes attached with the balcony. and you get to see some part of dal lake all the way there we both love we always thought that we were fine oh while we left behind yeah yeah when we stay late nights drink it to the morning sun yeah soaking up a little fun there is some connection between us and the dogs or at least that's what our parents say as we meet bruno again I must say he's super playful, loves to play football and resembles so much like Charlie 777. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. We are very excited to be on route to Sonmarg. Uh we have heard great things from everyone about how heavenly it is. So we are finally about to find out for ourselves. This place here across the river makes a good picnic spot so if you're here with your family you could definitely camp here for a while either before or after going to Sonmarg I just sing la 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 can you feel it too I sing la 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 once again we're getting on the horses um on the way to Tajwa's glacier and after that we'll go zero point turns out i have got badal um coincidentally and gitika's horse is sonu both are pretty young we are 12000 feet above the sea level and this is where head of movie was uh, shot Mountain that is called Golden Mountain uh because the sun sets there and which is why the name of this place is Sonmarg This is where uh, the final scene of Bajrangi Bhaijaan was shot when Muni runs on the border. It's pretty pristine. Look 
On our way to zero point, we are going through Zorjila Pass, which is simply so beautiful, so elegant, just looking like a wow. This is the last village of Kashmir. It's called Sarbal. This is the first time we have come to the edge of any part of India, so we are still letting that sink in. It's our next attraction point here in uh, Sonmarg. This is zero point. The temperatures here are sub zero, and uh, as you can see, apparently uh, those are snow clouds. It's snowing out there. Uh, we haven't done fact check, but uh, Abhay here told uh, this is where the 1999 war took place, uh, where Pakistan army had totally covered this area. So it's pretty fascinating to be out here. It's really freezing and windy. It's uh, yeah. Let's go find some cozy spot. The other side of those mountains, you guessed it, is Pakistan. Another new day. Sun is shining bright. Birds are chirping their tunes. This is what we come to seek in the mountains. We woke up fairly late, so we are going for a quick brunch on our way to Gulmarg. We then had another stop at our friend's orchards, which had the most juiciest green apples. My favorite. On our way to Gandola, we made a quick detour to Drang, which has a waterfall that is so beautiful, so elegant, just looking like a wow. Atif here showed us how this spot looks during the winters, and I guess we have a reason to visit Kashmir again very soon. So turns out there is a possibility it could snow in Gulmak today. Fingers crossed. For now, it's getting really misty. No signs of snow yet. This is it. This is the entry point for the gondola. We'll have to drop our cars out here in this market road, and we either have to hire these local taxis and pay two k, or go for a ten-minute walk. We obviously decided the latter. We expected to see way more crowd considering it's a Sunday, but at this rate, we should get by quick. So this is it. This is our gondola, but we can't see a thing. Once you reach the top, you can either chill out here or choose to go to this restaurant for a quick bite. We didn't get to see snow today, but luckily we are getting to see clear views on our way back out in the gondola. We have part three coming soon, where we'll show you all that Srinagar has to offer. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button.